Hey, beauty chameleons out there. How are y'all doing today? I know y'all probably thinking, girl, where in the hell have you been? And you know what? I have been... explains my absence you know not that I'm this big huge beauty guru that I'm just oh too busy to do this and too busy to do that but after you know like my last video I filmed I had I just had so much going on that I had to give myself a break and just enjoy my life as a wife and a mother you know, as a, a career person, I am, and if you don't know, I'm a beauty manager for Sephora inside JCPenney. And over a year ago, I opened up a new store. And then um, also, you know, I'm also involved with martial arts outside of school. And then I do other little things, you know, with my child and my family. And I needed to really focus my energies on that and had to take a little break from here, even though I hated doing that. But you're probably asking me, what were you doing, you know? Well, like I said, um, I'm a beauty manager for Sephora inside JCPenney, and I opened up a new store almost over a whole year ago. And with opening up a new store, you are crazy busy. And I put, and when I do something and make a commitment to something, I really put my whole heart into it, even though sometimes it's not good because you sacrifice things. <laughs> but I really do, you know, you have to build an amazing team, which I love my team. They are amazing. And they have to build a very nice store environment. And I love my store and the team that I work with. And then at the same time, you know, with successing and doing things, you're able to experience things that, you know, maybe I wouldn't have in this particular position. And so a lot of my busy time went to, you know, opening up a new store, but then at the same time, I got a chance to travel with where I work at, you know, we have our conferences every fall and I was able to go to one and I was able to meet some amazing people. And if you guys um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, which is Beauty Chameleon, I was able to meet, oh my gosh, Danny Sands from Makeup Forever, you guys. And it was just kind of nice to um, see what her passion is, why she created the company, and why Makeup Forever is so successful to this day. So that was a great honor to be able to do that. And um, and I love Makeup Forever, by the way, not that I'm trying to throw any plugs here, but I truly do. And also with that, I was able to you know work very hard with my team and went and um, able to win a chance to go to New York, which I've been in New York before many times, but this time was just amazing because I got to travel with um, three other amazing women and we were able to meet some of my favorite skincare gurus like Peter Thomas Roth of Peter Thomas Roth Clinical. Love, I love, um, and not just meet, but actually dive into his brain as far as why he create Peter Thomas Roth. What was his passion behind creating certain products and why he created them. And then also getting a chance to tell him what people would love to see or like or dislike. And it was just amazing because he was so open to that. And then he was open to um, making you feel comfortable in his space. So it was such an amazing opportunity. I also got a chance to meet Sarah McManera of Miracle Skin Transformation. And... I swear, these. Um, she was a beautiful individual, not just inside, not just outside, but inside. You can see that with people, and you know, got a chance to get pampered and have fun. But I got a chance to do lots of things like that, which kept me busy. And um, also this year, you know, I've been traveling. I got a chance to be a part of new store opens in Midland. So if you live in Midland, shout out to Midland. You guys rock, Midland. But it was really great. I got a chance to be busy with that, and then. The second layer to my busyness is that, you know, I'm a mom, a wife, and, you know, I want to spend time with my family. You know, all that dedication put into work, sometimes family life kind of gets unbalanced a little bit. So the time I had for my family, I utilized that, and that's why you haven't seen a lot of videos from me. I really want to connect with my family and be with them and enjoy them too. And then on top of that, you know, if you've been a subscriber to me for a long time, 
uh, my son and I, well actually my husband too, we're all practice martial arts. And mainly my son and I, um, in August of this past year, we became eligible to midterm for our first degree black belt. And um, you're probably like, well, why is that consuming your time? Well, it's a six months process where you go through testing off on requirements, learning life skills, learning technique, um, testing in front of senior masters in order to be able to get your black belt. And for me, yes, it was an obstacle because I'm a mother, I work, and I, you know, wife, and you have to balance that. But then my child, if you don't know, my child does have ADHD, and I'm okay with that and discussing. I'm sure many of you can relate to that as well. But my child, when it comes to focusing, that's an obstacle for him. And so for me as a mom, I really had to persevere through my struggles and what my obstacles was as a martial artist, but then him too with that focus. So we really were training, you know, at the training school. We were training home. I was helping him, you know, part of his requirements as a nine-year-old. He had to write a 250-word essay on why he feels he should be a black belt and what does a black belt mean to him. So that was an obstacle to get them to focus and think of words. So for me... I had to persevere because I had to guide him and question and ask and do this and make sure he was on the same page so that we are able to both persevere and get our first degree black belt. So long story short, we made it. This February, we were both awarded our first degree black belt and I was so proud of you know his accomplishment and then my accomplishment and patience as a mom. And you know we both made it, so yay! And um, so with that, martial arts, work, family life, I just didn't really have room to fit anything else mentally. So again, that's why I had to take a break from here. But I couldn't for long because, you know, after you get used to everything in your life and everything kind of balances itself out for a little bit, you miss one of your underlying passions, which mine is when I created this channel, I love to share all things beauty, makeup, hair, life, exercise, weight loss, still working on that. And um, I missed it. So I had to figure out a way and a strategy to get back to you because I miss you guys. And I thank you all so much for your support. A lot of you guys go on to Facebook and Twitter and say, Tasha, are you doing okay? Are you well? And you know what? Yes, I've been well. And thank you. I truly thank you for that because you guys are so nice. I love that this, this um, channel is very positive and I want to keep it that way. So what my brain is thinking, I will be filming new videos. However, it won't be on this channel. What I decided to do is create a secondary channel that is named Beauty Chameleon here on YouTube. So I'll post a link here, I'll post a link down there, and I would suggest you guys to go there and subscribe there. Because that's where all my new makeup tutorials will go on. I have this amazing hair review from KRS Hair Group that's gonna be coming up, hopefully after this video on the new channel. And I have many other things. And the second thing I ask for you guys too, if you can help me out, if there's something you'd like to see me do, leave your comments below. It could be a, a review on a product. It could be a certain makeup look you've seen. You can always send me pictures on Facebook or um, Twitter to let me see. It could be a tag video. It could be a um, product review. Anything you guys want to see me do on the new channel, leave your comments below. It's your time to speak to me. Otherwise, until then you guys, again, thank you so much for your support. Um, I look forward to new videos, and until the next video, you guys stay well and healthy. Thank you for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.